Hello there and welcome back. If you are new to this channel, this is Total OS Today, Total Operating Systems Today. And I basically look at a lot, sometimes a lot of Linux based distributions. I am a Windows user, more specifically a Windows dual booter because I enjoy using both systems. And number two, I am a Windows user that promotes at least some versions of a Linux desktop. And I do that because hopefully if you're getting comments, ideas, and straightforward opinions from a Windows user, about how Linux, how good Linux can be. Hopefully you will find that a little bit more trustworthy. Anyway, we're going to take a look at something brand new, briefly, unedited tests of something called Bubuntu, Bubuntu, Bubuntu Linux. And this is from a YouTuber, uh, English Bob. You may know the channel started way back, I believe as ICOS, Puppy Linux and other names, Linux Help Guy. Anyway, I believe the gentleman's name is Steve. So Steve, greetings from the US of A. So once again, we're gonna take a look at this and inside a virtual box with Windows 10 as the host. I must say, looking at this briefly, it's a very nice lightweight Linux distribution based off of Lubuntu uh, 16.04. If you look at the LX uh, terminal, bring this up. Yeah, it's uh, Ubuntu 16.04 kernel. 4.8.0. Anyway, this is, yeah, the, the word that comes to mind is pleasant and running this briefly in the virtual box, superb, stable, fast, easy to navigate. If you are coming from a Windows machine, the only issue I had, I could not for the life of me install this inside a virtual box. It's certainly possible I did something wrong, but when I went through the options to install, the, the box at the bottom right, the, the tab or the box where it says next, it, it was grayed out. I could not get it you know, to ungray itself as it were. Once again, that could totally be my problem. I guess I should look at the documentation. Anyway, it seems to be running very good in a virtual box. So uh, a full install, I don't think is necessary for this uh, demonstration. So let's take a look at this, the default desktop here. If you right click, you have some options here. If you've, if you've messed with LXD environments or Lubuntu, you've probably seen this before. And if, you, and if you have not, again, if you are coming from a Windows machine, this should not be a problem. I'm just gonna go to the options here, the shortcuts, the panel here at the top very quickly. Of course, your logout session here, uh, time and date, if you right click, you have some other options here. We have networking and let's see, we have power, Manager settings, volume, left click, right click, go to volume control settings, playback, recording, output, input, test, test, configuration. Again, simple. Once again, if you were coming from a Windows 10 environment, this should not be too difficult to learn. Right click on the panel. You have some other options here. Panel settings. And you can move this bottom, top, left, right, width, and all that good stuff. Again, very easy. I do like the uh, the ability to add little uh, shortcuts or little applets to the panel. Okay, so it looks like we have two desktop workspaces here. This is to minimize all windows, uh, application launch bar settings, and that brings up Google for some reason. Hey, Google is installed by default. That's fine with me. Uh, let's see, this is probably PC Pac-Man, PC Man, yeah, okay. Uh, oh, very nice, very nice use of fonts and colors on the folders here. Oh, I forget what these fonts are called. Numix maybe, something like that. Anyway, it looks great. Well, let's move along here. Let's go to the, um, these are some shortcuts here, a quick launch panel here to the left. Of course, the file manager, Google Chrome, you get the GIMP, very good, Abbey Word, lightweight, Genomeric, Boxes, Spotify, VLC, OBS, Steam for games, Lubuntu Software Center, the software update. Let's go to the Lubuntu Software Center, see what it looks like. Again, nice use, fonts, colors, very nice. Oh, let's try audio and video. Pretty much self-explanatory. You can scroll here or search for a package here. Okay, let's click X. Let's go to the start button. Again, I apologize I couldn't get this to go in full screen or as a full install. Once again, that could be completely my fault. 
accessories. Let's see if anything sticks out that I normally use. Uh, I use sometimes discs, games, Steam. To be honest, I usually play my games in Windows 10 or my Xbox One. I know, it's blasphemy, isn't it? Hey, I use what works. GIMP, very good. Internet, Google Chrome, I use. And we have, again, Steam, P Pigeon Internet Messenger, and email clients, slip feed, transmission, and you get, okay, Office. Okay, again, this is a very lightweight distro. It's meant to be, so it doesn't have a lot installed. Just enough installed packages to get you moving. Sound and video. Now, as a YouTuber, this is what I'm looking at. Okay, so the Mixer GUI, Graphical Audio Mixer, that's okay. Audacious, very nice lightweight music player. I use that sometimes. The GNOME player, don't really use that. GUVC view, very good, excellent webcam application, OBS, excellent, pulse audio volume control, must have. Spotify, very good, I use that. VLC, excellent, and XF burn, very good choices so far. The only thing missing here, if, if I had to pick one, Kdenlai, video editor, probably the premier video editor for Linux. System tools, I use Bleachbit, I use, let's see, GW, very good. And just moving along quickly, I do use the Synaptic Package Manager. Now, if you are a newbie to this, a new user, this may take some getting used to, but it's not that difficult to learn. So far, so good. Preferences, additional drivers, Bluetooth, customized look and feel, default, desktop, disks, anything else that sticks out, um, nothing unusual. Let's go to, yeah, customized look and feel real quick. Clear Looks, Crux, Industrial, Lubuntu, Dark, Lubuntu Default, Mist, Mona, Mona Lisa, anyway, Rally, Redmond, Thin Ice. I kind of like it the way it is. Uh, color, Icon Theme, you have a bunch of choices here. Captain, Capitan, Captain, okay, mouse, cursor, window border, Any, anyway, once again, self-explanatory if you are coming from a Windows environment. I'll leave it the way it is, and uh, did I miss anything? I think not. Run and log out, so you know what? I think I'll end it here. This is running superb in a virtual machine. The word that comes to mind with this besides being simple is pleasant, very pleasant, so... Uh, English Bob or Steve, hello again, Steve. Very nicely done. Uh, I didn't find anything wrong with this. The only thing I could not get this to install once again it could be totally my fault. But that being said, if it's going to run great in a virtual machine, it should run superb as a full install. So if you want to try something new in Linux that's very beginner friendly, I definitely encourage you to check out English Bob's channel and check out. Bubuntu Linux. Very nice. I give it two thumbs up and that's coming from my Windows user so you can take that to the Linux bank as it were. That's all I have for this one. If I missed anything please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for stopping by. Subscribe for more and uh, yeah I'll catch you guys later. Take care.